What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm gonna show you guys the top four best tan jogger outfits to make with your male character. So for the first part, I'm gonna show you guys on how to get the tan joggers and to get the tan joggers, all you wanna do is go over here to this clothing store with this stunt race. After you do make it to this exact clothing store next to this stunt race, what you're gonna do now, if you guys do not see this stunt race, you're gonna pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to map blimp options, which will be on slot eight, and then you're gonna go to jobs on slot three, scroll down to stunt race, and if it does say hide like this, then you won't see it on the map, so just press right on the D-pad once to set it to show, and then you'll see it's right here next to the clothing store. After the stunt race is here, you can then back out of hide jobs, and then you're gonna back out of Matt Blump options, scroll up to register as a boss, which will be on slot two, click on it, and then you're gonna start an organization, so start up a CEO. After you do start up a CEO organization, you're gonna pull up your interaction menu, click on secure serve CEO, go to management, go to style, and scroll through your CEO style until you find the warlord outfit, which will look like this with the tan joggers. Now that you're wearing the warlord, warlord outfit, put away your interaction menu, you can then just walk into the blue stunt race job and press right on the D-pad to enter. Once you have entered the job, there's not much you need to change, so you can just confirm the settings and then launch the job on your own. After you do launch the job, you're gonna load into here where it shows motorcycles or maybe your personal motorcycles. Just scroll through the motorcycles for at least a few seconds. After you've done that, you can then just fully quit the job. When you do quit the job, you should see that you're wearing the outfit you had on before the Warlord, which is exactly what you want. So once you have loaded back into a session, go back inside the clothing store. You can go up here to the front counter or the top section, press right on the D-pad, and you're gonna sit here at the clothing for maybe five to 10 seconds until it does kick you out. And you should see that you are wearing the Warlord outfit. So just like this, it will kick you out and you're wearing the outfit. All you're gonna do now is pull up your interaction menu, click on Secure Serve CEO, and hit retire. When you do hit retire, you should be wearing the outfit, which is good, and now you're all good to go. So now, let's just create the outfits and the thumbnail. This is going to be the first outfit I'm gonna show you guys on how to make, so as long as you are wearing the tan joggers, you can walk over here to the top section, go to Sports Tops, Onslaught 53, and equip the Trickster Baseball Shirt, Onslaught 39. Once you do have the Trickster Baseball Shirt, you can then back out of the top section, now pull up your interaction menu, go to your inventory, go to body armor, then you're gonna go to your show armor and set it to the super heavy armor, which is this tan camo vest right here. And whenever you do have the super heavy armor, you can then back out, walk over here to the shoe section, go to sneakers on slot two, and you're gonna equip the white plain high tops on slot four. After you do equip the white plain high tops, back out, head over here to your accessories. You're then gonna go to scarves on slot three, and you can equip the Black Desert Scarf Onslaught 2. Once you equip the Black Desert Scarf, go down to Gloves Onslaught 7 and look for the White Cotton Gloves Onslaught 53. When you have the White Cotton Gloves, you can now go to Cuffs Onslaught 8. And for your left arm, you're going to equip the Spiked Gauntlet Onslaught 27. And now for your right arm, if you guys scroll to, I believe it's going to be slot 71, you're going to equip the Spiked Gauntlet for your right arm. Whenever you do have the Cuff, the Gloves, and the Scarfs, that will be all for your accessories. So now for the final accessory, it's gonna be the helmet. So go over here to the hat section, go to bulletproof helmets on slot 19 and equip the tan bulletproof. And after you after you equip the tan bulletproof helmet, that will be all for your outfit. So if you are wondering what it looks like in the pause menu, here you guys go. That will be all whenever you're done. So now you can walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits and just save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, let's move on to the second tan joggers outfit. Now for the second outfit, all you're gonna do is walk back over here to the top section, go to vest on slot 54 and equip the pale brown vest on slot 23. When you do have this vest, you can back out, go to vest shirts on slot 55 and equip the white band vest shirt on slot 10. So once you do have the vest and the vest shirt, that's all for your tops. We don't need to worry about the pants since we do have the tan joggers. So go over here to your accessories, scroll down to gloves on slot seven and look for the white cotton gloves on slot 53. After you do equip the white cotton gloves, that's all for your accessories. So now walk over here to your shoes, scroll down to sport shoes on slot nine and equip the all white sport shoes on slot 28. After you have the all white sport shoes, that's all. So head over here to your hats, scroll down to combat helmets on slot 23, and you're gonna look for the fall quad lens on slot 36. 
After you do equip the fog quad lens on slot 36, that's all for your head accessories for right now. Now for the parachute, what you're gonna do is pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and you're gonna have it set to the black combat shoe bag, which will look like this. If you don't have the black combat shoe bag, what you're gonna do is go over here to the gun store, walk up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then you're gonna buy the black combat shoe bag. After you buy the black combat shoe bag, back out of the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and it'll be set to the black combat shoe bag, just like this. Now for the final head accessory, all we're gonna do now is go over here to the mask store. Now that you have made it to the mask store, just walk over here to your mask, scroll down to ski mask on slot 21, and you're gonna look for the white tight ski on slot 112. Once you do equip the white tight ski, you should see that it merges with your quad lens, just like this, and that will be all for your outfit. So here's what the outfit does look like in the pause menu in case you guys are wondering. It is that easy. So after you have set, after you have made this outfit, you can walk over here to the tops, the hats, or the mask, and just hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you have saved it, that will be all. So I hope you guys did like this outfit. Now let's just move on to the third tan joggers outfit. Okay guys, for the third tan joggers outfit, after you have made it back to the clothing store, you're gonna walk over here to the top section for the third time, and then you're gonna look for sweaters. Sweaters is gonna be on slot 44, and you're gonna equip the black combat sweater on slot 93. After you do equip the black combat sweater, you can back out of the top section, pull up your interaction menu, go to your inventory, go to body armor, scroll down to show armor, and set it to the super heavy armor, which will look like this tan camo vest on your character. After you have the super heavy armor, you can now head over here to your shoes, go to skate shoes on slot three, and look for the all black skate shoes on slot 16. After you do equip these skate shoes, you can then now walk over here to your accessories, scroll down to gloves on slot seven, and equip the tan tactical gloves on slot 69. After you do equip the tan tactical gloves on slot 69, that's all for your accessories. So for the parachute, what you're gonna do is pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and have it set to the black combat shoe bag that will look like this. If you don't, if you don't have the black combat shoe bag, you're gonna head to a gun store, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then buy the black combat shoe bag. After you buy it, back out of the front counter, it's gonna disappear off your character, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and the black combat shoe bag will look just like this. Now, all we're gonna do is go over here to the mask store, so then we get the head accessories for our outfit. After you have made it to the mask store, you're gonna walk over here to the hats first, and then scroll down to bulletproof helmets on slot 19 and just equip the tan bulletproof. After you equip the tan bulletproof helmet, you can then back out of the hats, walk over here to the mask, scroll down to ski mask on slot 21, and equip the black tight ski on slot 114, which will be all the way at the bottom. And whenever you do see you equip the black tight ski, it merges with your bulletproof helmet, and that will be all for your outfit. So if you are wondering what it looks like in the pause menu whenever you're done, this is what it looks like. So I hope you guys do like this outfit. Now you can walk over here to the top section real quick and just save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you have saved your outfit, we can now move on to the final outfit that you see in the thumbnail. This is going to be the fourth and final outfit I'm gonna show you guys on how to make in today's video. So what you're gonna do is walk up here to the top section once again, scroll down to suit jackets on slot four, and you're gonna equip the pale brown long suit on slot seven. After you do equip the pale brown long suit, you can back out of suit jackets. Now scroll down to business shirts on slot 56, and you're gonna equip the Highland high roller shirt on slot one. So hopefully it's nothing else but this white collared shirt under it so after you do have the suit jacket and this business shirt you can then back on the top section we don't need to worry about the pants since we do have the tan joggers but go over here to your accessories go to gloves on slot 7 and equip the white cotton gloves on slot 53. after you have equipped the white cotton gloves that's all for your accessories now for your shoes you're going to go to sports shoes on slot 9 and equip the all white sports shoes on slot 28. after you do equip the all white sports shoes back out of the shoe section, head over here to your hats, scroll down to bulletproof helmets on slot 19 and buy the tan bulletproof. After you do buy the tan bulletproof helmet, back out of the hats. Now for the parachute, all you're gonna do is pull up your interaction menu, 
go to your style, go to your parachute, and you're gonna have it set to the tan combat shoe bag, which will look like this. If you don't have it, what you're gonna do now is head to a gun store, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and buy the tan combat shoe bag. After you buy the tan combat shoe bag, back out of the front counter, it will disappear off your character, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and it'll be set to your tan combat shoe bag, which will look like this. Now, for the final head accessory for this outfit, all we're gonna do now is head to the mask store. When you guys have made it to the mask store, you're just gonna walk over here to your mask, go to crime on slot nine, and look for the white t-shirt mask on slot 55. You will see that your helmet does come off, but after you do equip the white t-shirt mask, we're now gonna head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch to merge the helmet over with the mask. Now that you have made it to the pier and you have found a telescope, just do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and you're gonna scroll through your helmets until you do find the tan bulletproof. So that your mask will come off, but you guys don't need to worry. After you find the tan bulletproof helmet, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask and the helmet merge together just like this and that will be all for your outfit so if you are wondering what it looks like in the pause button in the pause menu here you guys go that will be all i think i like this outfit a little bit more than i did earlier at first whenever i made it i, I just thought it was all right but now the more i wear it i do like it a little bit more so i hope you guys do like this outfit and the rest of the outfits that i made in today's video please like and subscribe thank you guys for watching peace